We are happy to uh, talk with two experts in entrepreneurial learning, entrepreneurial teaching, entrepreneurial universities. I'm Ellen. I work with an organization called Bantany Education um, based here in Belgium. And we work, we're a nonprofit working on entrepreneurial learning, um, looking to connect policy and practice um, through different projects, different initiatives, and, and also networking, building communities. I'm Annelies and I work at ECLL for 14 years. Um, and I did a lot of uh, entrepreneurial uh, projects within UCLL and uh, the latest is StartMinds. Um, we have built a platform um, to guide the entrepreneurial uh, students to real entrepreneurship. Um, and also I'm um, in the UTERS project. This is a, a new project that just has been started uh, where we will make the connection uh, between different players and shareholders uh, in the region. Helen, can you tell us why Europe thinks uh, entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial mindset uh, is important and what does Europe do to promote it? I think um, Europe does think this is important and it's it dates back to, you know, 20 years probably, 25 years since this started being talked about. Um, Back in 2006, European Commission, uh, working with all the member states, agreed this key competence framework of eight key competences. One of those was a sense of initiative and entrepreneurship. And the idea behind this was be, you know, giving young people the understanding of how to go out there and do something for themselves, have an idea and put that idea into action. Over the last 20 years, that's evolved. The more recent um, key competence framework was, was revised 2018. Um, and now it's entrepreneurship. That's the key competence. Mm -hmm. And that's now underpinned by Entrecomp, mm -hmm. the European key competence framework. Now, complicated word, what does it mean? It really, that framework is about trying to break down what this key competence is, what it means in terms of teaching, learning, the skills, the mindset that young people need to develop. Why do they think it's important? Because this is, young people need the ideas the ability to put those ideas into action, to change how our society works, where our society is going, to, to bring their flavour, their understanding, their sense of urgency and agency okay. to what's happening now and in the future. And I think we can all agree 2020 shows that we need these skills and competences more than ever before. Yes. Uh, we face challenges like we haven't seen in the last decades. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, Europe does see this as particularly important. It's coming through all of the different policy areas again. Um, and it is this understanding that comes through Entrecomp, which was created to build a common language about this. Mm -hmm. And it is then a framework that identifies the skills, the competences that go into teaching and learning around this that you can introduce. And I think what's interesting now is that with the new understanding that we're developing and what's coming through Entrecomp is this new emphasis on creating value for others. Mm -hmm. It's the others that's interesting and it's the value that can be financial, yes. Entrepreneurial activity, we understand that traditionally is creating financial value, mm -hmm. but also social value, cultural value, bringing joy to our society, mm -hmm. bringing community value to our society bringing people together, activism. There's different kinds of value that we can create that that supports where we're going and where we need to go. And I would like to add, because in the UCLL, um, I think um, the entrepreneurship is something that the management departments uh, are practicing. And and um, yeah, in the past, everyone thought it was something for the management students. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, because of start minds, uh, we see that a lot of other departments in UCLL, uh, the social worker students, um, the, the students from, from nurses uh, or something, uh, are also willing to set up their own business or willing to be entrepreneurial uh, uh, in projects. And so we see a, a huge change. Yes. And it's also not only financial value, but also uh, the, the value of something to create, uh, to make the world better. We have a strong commitment in UDRES to um, change the world for the better, to change the regions for the better, but also Europe, to create a strong Europe identity, but also to create a resilience of its citizens of all ages. 
Uh, how would you uh, see or envision or how do you think a university who aims to do that, what would you like it to be, Helen? I think when I looked at the um, the UDRES um, website, the word that came out at me was change makers. Yes. And I think that's that's something that, that drives me. I'm a youth worker originally. Mm -hmm. And to, to support young people to understand their own capacity to create change, mm -hmm. um, to have had the ability and the opportunity within their learning experience at school, in youth work, at university, to practice that, to, to recognize their own capacity, what strengths they have, what skills they have, to create change, to create value um, that brings uh, and bring that value to others. That's so important. And that really came through when I looked at the uh, UDRES website. And, and for me, the Entrepreneurial University is about supporting mm -hmm. that sense of entrepreneurial opportunity and potential within its student body and for the staff to be able to have the uh, curriculum freedom Mm -hmm. to embrace that and give that that space to their students to practice it in a safe place um, because you know we want to encourage young people to try things out they might not always be successful and one of the best places they can do that to try things out fail and learn from that failure is you know at school at university um, where they're supported and then they can try it again where maybe they can you know for themselves in life Annelies, how does you just embrace this challenge? And the UDRES project, we want to make the connection between the different shareholders, uh, and I mean the education partners, educators, learners, uh, decision makers, researchers, researchers, policy makers, and, and the whole region. So we have to connect with each other, not only uh, we as UCLL, but in the European network with all the players. And we truly believe in this kind of, of collaboration between the shareholders to make a better world. And our main uh, purpose is to define what is the future-proof education, uh, what are future-proof competences, uh, what is the profile of the future-proof uh, educator and learner in those regions, um, and constantly the search for the role of the future-proof higher uh, European education network in the smart and sustainable region. And that's why we have to boost, I think, the innovative, the entrepreneurial and the creativity mindset of all the shareholders. So they have to be yeah, in, in, in contact and, and in a smooth um, yeah, partnership, I think. How would you uh, inspire citizens um, outside the university to participate, to see it? it's also uh, their um, entrepreneurship, it's also their uh, uh, challenge. When we look at, um, you know, a university, um, we look at it sort of in its ecosystem, isn't it? You know, with the, the different stakeholders that are involved in that. Um, I think it's demonstrating the value um, for the different audiences, you know, be those audiences, local businesses who need the skills and they need the entrepreneurial skills that, that graduates bring, um, or be that bringing the university and the community closer together in collaborations so that you have opportunity for citizens to see the, the value, to see the, um, the ways in to engage, the ways in to, to really get involved and feel the benefit of that involvement. So I think it's, it's a huge um, communication challenge at the very first raising awareness of where the where the channels of engagement are and what value that can bring and then you know sustaining that um is is another challenge it's not easy to bring an ecosystem to get together it's why we we've been talking about it and trying different ways of doing it um but it's so important uh because you know universities particularly perhaps universities in smaller cities where you've got the sort of that much closer relationship sometimes with with the city itself um and you know the, the the economic contribution that brings but also the social and cultural contribution and opportunity that brings is something to really recognize and for everybody within the local area to to see and understand yeah, true, because in the UDAS project, after three years, we want um, to give the right tools, uh, weapons to different shareholders uh, in our uh, network 
So we want to come up with an HR management uh, for decision makers of, of uh, the higher education uh, schools. Uh, or we want a vision text for policy makers because we know the policy makers are very important in this whole uh, sustainable uh, uh, network. Uh, and also living labs um, for learners and in three different uh, different uh, fields. Uh, so artificial intelligence, circle economy and uh, active aging and well-being. Um, and also uh, from that perspective, it's something new for CLL. Um, and that's why we're hopeful and very grateful and that our uh, several um, researchers and persons from um, yeah, the, the education part uh, are participating in the UGES project. So we have a large um, uh, field of uh, understanding and belief in this project. Too. So that's really good to give the iLiving Labs uh, Life. Uh, and then also for the researchers, we want to set up a citizen science projects within the three fields, artificial intelligence, circular economy and active aging and well-being. And um, my work package is uh, to organize boot camps and hackathons um, for the entrepreneurs and uh, yeah, all the other partners uh, in the ecosystem. And also um, an, an IQ beta program uh, where yeah, the entrepreneurs can uh, follow an innovative program um, yeah, to work in an in, in innovative way in this more than sustainable region uh, with the partners. Well, that's really interesting, I have to say. I'll be following it with interest because I think I was just thinking, you know, about living labs and I don't know a lot about them, but I'd like to because it's like, you know, the concept of, of understanding as you do, bringing in a kind of a laboratory of lived experience with different collaborators coming from different parts of of a of an ecosystem effectively i think i find it fascinating i've um i've come across them before but as i say i've, I've not worked or or participated in one um yeah i i find that, that that idea is really interesting and i think thematic um links to that would be would be great i uh yeah and artificial intelligence is is uh a topic that kind of quite frankly blows my mind a little bit the potential of it one final question um after three years uh, how what would be your let's say criterion or your uh, checklist uh, to see whether we have been this uh, entrepreneurial entrepreneurial university um creating this progressive society where everybody feels that they can create their own path. What would it be for you? For me, it's it always, you know, I'm always interested in in the learning, right? And and the process of learning and what people recognize for themselves that they have developed, evolved, um, enhanced through that process, but also how the value of that learning is recognized by others. And for me, a litmus test of this would be. Are we changing? We won't have changed, but are we changing how we value education? Are we changing, you know, what we value in education? Mm -hmm. And are we changing how we judge education institutions for the value they bring? Because if we expand the idea of the value they bring to a community, to an ecosystem, region, a person, a staff member, you know, if we change that perception, then we change how we what we put in what we take out you know all of that process um because right now maybe it needs to be a bit broader what we assess what we judge is what we value if we change that then our understanding of what education can provide and develop and really give back is much broader and I would like to add a uh, human center innovation, uh, not the technological oriented innovation uh, things that I, I started my uh, my uh, my talk with uh, in, in, in the more management technology uh, departments. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, entrepreneurship, but also uh, in the in the yeah active well-being uh, and human center innovation. I would like to see some changes.